Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are But who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are But who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are But who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Planet of the Fakes for Kids And Pig Star H H News Hashtag Teenagers are identified as follows Hashtag Yakshiel Blackman 17 Hashtag Willow O Blackman 15 Jasmine Joy Shade Kelly 15 Jarvis Jermaine Cook 17 and Yaquez Devante Porter 17 Police say the five Biloxi teens attempted to use a gun to rob Harris at a home in the 2000 block of Rustwood Drive, which is located just off Pops Ferry Road. An altercation took place and Harris was shot, said authorities. Hashtag Madison Harris, 16, was shot at a home on Rustwood Drive in Biloxi Monday afternoon. She died shortly after at the hospital. The five juveniles fled in multiple directions, leading police to canvas the neighborhood looking for them. Witness statements and evidence found at the scene of the murder led investigators to locate all five suspects shortly after the shooting and piece together what happened to Harris. A $1 million bond was set for all of the suspects except Jarvis Cook, who was already out on bond for an aggravated a. So he is accused of committing last year in Gulfport. Cook is being held without bond. Full video link in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, hit the bell, and, if you, get time, go to www.amor-ica.com. Thank you very, very. Planet of the Fakes for Kids. And, Pig, Star, H, H, News, FB Opinion on Biloxi Capital Murder Teens. This is coming from an African American woman. To the woman who asked what she did, sometimes you don't have to do anything to get robbed. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Maybe she was wealthy and they weren't. Maybe they were snakes, etc. I was robbed by people I thought were close to me just because they thought I had a ton of money and I did nothing but be friends to people and they didn't even have to rob me because I was always breaking bread. The slang term is called backdooring. Thinking face, thinking face, thinking face I definitely wonder what she did. Angelica Irby so basically you're saying the victim is at fault of her own death stating with you saying she did something to deserve this with facts you can't even prove you just going off some shit that you want to be. E true ha stop making this shit a race issue this child is gone and can no longer speak for herself. I'm black and you're wrong face with rolling eyes they didn't have to kill that child. No matter what the situation was. Now she's dead and day growing up in prison. You ask what did she do? She probably wore nice stuff and flashed a lil here and there she just looks like a hip white girl and they got jealous envious of who she was and what she had so they tried to set her up and ram her off. And thought it'd be easy cuz she's was whitened by herself. I've seen this plenty of times working in various schools. Angelica Irby she probably had a job which is something on the suspects knew nothing about. But hey we can blame their mistakes on slavery or something, I'm sure it wasn't their fault. Christopher Michael Freddy yet another ignorant comment I'm pretty sure. That typo could have me wrong though. Ms. Irby are stupid as you sound please. This girl's gone nd the other five will have no life now. She was home that came with intent to harm her or they wouldn't brought a gun. Angelica Irby you mean they, the five did something drastic, because they allegedly killed her. Yet you don't want to face that fact. It's that corrupt and twisted mentality that makes the world so backwards. That's racism right damn there. It bothers you that some black teens may have done a hate crime on a white person. It does happen, but when will you be ready to admit it? Is it better for you to stay ignorant? You want to know what she did. She was born white maybe. LMFAO you are desperately trying to make the victim the perpetrator. Girl you thirsty. Cat McAvoy so, you just wanna ignore the fact that she could've done something as well. It's always another side to the damn story and you pale MFS don't wanna face the fact that she definitely could've bought this on herself. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. I said what I said. I don't give a fuck about how y'all feel. You MFS come up with every fucking excuse to protect source. Angelica Irby what facts you got? Nothing. Face with tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing unless you are willing to show police your facts, girl take a damn seat. Second I ain't no, pale face, only an educated hood rats use this term by the way, you just wish I was so you could play off racism right. If you want to protect this kind of hooliganery have at it. In the end, you will look the fool anyway. Like who can actually excuse the alleged murder by five people against one. Not even the best attorneys but apparently you got receipts. Sure cupcake, you chose to be ignorant because of cloak color of the victim. I don't have to spell that out, you did a fine job of it. Awesome. You contribute to the dumbing down of America. Carry on with that. Full video link in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, 
follow, hit the bell, and, if you, get time, go to, www. woman during a robbery. Those teens, all between 15 and 17 years old. Police say they robbed a girl under the age of 18 at gunpoint, and the victim was shot and killed after a fight. Bond is set for four of the suspects at $1 million. 15-year-old Jarvis Cook was not granted bond because he was out on bond at the time for a previous aggravated assault. Planet of the Fakes for Kids and Pig Star H H News FB opinion on Biloxi Capital Murder Teens 2. The blind leading the blind. The suspects have been identified as 17-year-old Yakshia Blackman, 15-year-old Willow Blackman, 15-year-old Jasmine Kelly, 17-year-old Jarvis Cook, and 17-year-old Yaquez Poe. Artair, while the civil rights entertainers and race hustlers focus on correcting white society in general and white people specifically, very little is being done to highlight, confront, and correct the deadly chaos being perpetrated by too many black youths. These five will be spending a significant number of years in prison because they value foolishness and thievery over integrity and character. As a result, a young woman is dead. The crime. Upon arrival, first responders found a teenage female unresponsive with a gunshot wound. She was taken to a local hospital where she later died as a result of her injuries. Harrison County Coroner Brian Switzer has identified the victim as 16-year-old Madison Harris. Pictured below, investigators say the suspects went to the residence with the intent to rob the victim and a gun was as ed to threaten Harris. An altercation took place and the victim was shot. Police say the suspects then fled the scene in multiple directions. Through witness statements and other evidence, investigators were able to piece together the sequence of events as well as locate five suspects. All five juvenile suspects have been arrested and are being charged as adults with capital murder. One coward, idiot was already on probation and obviously did not learn anything from the experience. One suspect, Jarvis Cook, was out on bond at the time of the alleged crime for an aggravated assault he supposedly committed in Gulfport in 2019, so his initial bond was revoked and he remains in jail. The other four received a $1 million bond each. The blind leading the blind. The suspects have been identified as 17-year-old Yakshia Blackman, 15-year-old Willow Blackman, 15-year-old Jasmine Kelly, 17-year-old Jarvis Cook, and 17-year-old Yaquez Porter. While the civil rights entertainers and race hustlers focus on correcting white society in general and white people specifically, very little is being done to highlight, confront, and correct the deadly chaos being perpetrated by too many black youths. These five will be spending a significant number of years in prison because they value foolishness and thievery over integrity and character. As a result, a young woman is dead. The crime. Upon arrival, first responders found a teenage female unresponsive with a gunshot wound. She was taken to a local hospital where she later died as a result of her injuries. Harrison County Coroner Brian Switzer has identified the victim as 16-year-old Madison Harris. Pictured below, investigators say the suspects went to the residence with the intent to rob the victim and a gun was as ed to threaten Harris. An altercation took place and the victim was shot. Police say the suspects then fled the scene in multiple directions. Through witness statements and other evidence, investigators were able to piece together the sequence of events as well as locate five suspects. All five juvenile suspects have been arrested and are being charged as adults with capital murder. One coward, idiot was already on probation and obviously did not learn anything from the experience. One suspect, Jarvis Cook, was out on bond at the time of the alleged crime for an aggravated assault he supposedly committed in Gulfport in 2019, so his initial bond was revoked and he remains in jail. The other four received a $1 million bond each. Full video link in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, hit the bell, and, if you, get time, go to, www. Hey, what up, y'all? Planet of the Fix here. 2020's coming. Brand new everything. I got a brand new Instagram. Make sure you follow it. Planet of underscore the fakes. And hey, Planet of the Fakes back again. This is just a reminder. If you have any problems accessing the videos at our site, www.more-eka.com backslash TV, more than likely it's because you're on a cell phone or tablet. All you have to do is at the top of the browser on the right hand is normally three dots you hit them this menu comes down hit desktop site 
you have to switch from mobile view to desktop view and all the videos will pop right up for you any other problems just hit us up at support at amoredashika.com thanks again for supporting Right, plan of the face here i'd like to thank you for watching our video but i also would like to remind you to please subscribe to our other pages youtube streets plan of the fakes kids i'm just nosy kanika jenkins 36 hours potfs plan of the kings potfs battle zone plan of the fakes extraordinary plan of the fakes for pets umbrella potfs plan of the fakes plan of the fakes for families pigstar hh news plan of the fakes reloaded investigation unit potfs plan of the psyops reloaded kleenex duke murdoch duke murdoch and plan of the fakes live there's more but that's just for now thanks again for watching our video Hitting the subscribe button, commenting, liking, and most of all, visiting amoredashika.com.